And before coronavirus, some small business owners struggled to stay afloat because of Austin's redevelopment. That is still happening as KVU's Tori Larned shares one business owner has less than a month before he is forced to close. Rick Wheeler started his postal drive through business on East Riverside about 26 years ago. He says he's making enough money to stay afloat, but that doesn't matter anymore. Now, before we show you the story, I do want to note that I filmed this back in March before there were any coronavirus cases in Austin. Wheeler is following social distancing protocols here. Okay, approximately what day are you going to need it? Sign right here, please. It's no bigger than a bedroom, but this drive through postal is filled with customers. Have a good weekend, John and I. After all, Rick Wheeler and his wife, Denise, have run this small East Riverside store since 1993. I worked the store open to close. Over the years, he didn't just grow his business. He built relationships with each customer. It's an unusual uh generosity that you see here that that's all about to change. Wheeler said the trustee overseeing the land now has different plans for it. Come June, he's getting the boot. And I thought about, you know, maybe relocating, but it, you know, I'm 62 now. That's a tough one. I, I'm not, not sure I'm young enough to relocate. Too old to move and not ready to retire. These are the realities some local business owners face because of Austin's growth. One of Wheeler's longtime customers says he has mixed emotions. I think that's one of those moments where you're uh, conflicted because, uh, you know, you're, you want to support the progress, but at the same time, you don't want to lose the souls, uh, uh, the soul of Austin and the people who uh, have been here for, you know, a long time. We reached out to the city. The district office overseeing East Riverside said since it's private property, they unfortunately can't do much. Wheeler says he's trying to convince the landowner to let him stay open just a couple more months so that while those coronavirus relief checks are sent out, his customers have no trouble getting them. Reporting from East Riverside, I'm Tori Larned, KVU News.